to show investors about Georgia while here in Finland? Sure. Uh, first of all, it's our great pleasure to be uh, at MIPIM this year, and uh, I wish uh, great success to all the participants. I know that the uh, number of registered participants this year has increased, uh, and it really shows the uh, um, ex exactly activeness in the real estate market. There are a few things that I would like to share with um, uh, potential investors, developers, architects. There are a number of uh, large-scale projects that is currently under development uh, in uh, Georgia. Uh, first of all, why Georgia? Uh, it's a fast-growing uh, country in the region. Uh, despite all the turbulences in the region, Georgia has managed to grow up to 4.7 percent last year. Um, uh, we are one of the easiest uh, be, uh, do, in terms of the doing business. Uh, and as you know, the World Bank has ranked Georgia as number 15 in terms of easiness of doing business. And what that means to uh, register a business in Georgia it takes only one day to register to get the construction permit. You can do within uh, one month, uh, um, and so on and so on, which is very important to do the business efficiently and in a uh, very uh, short period of time. And most importantly, there are a number of uh, projects that the government is implementing right now. First of all, I would like to mention there is a uh, big privatization process. Uh, right now, government has identified up to 15 uh, prime location in the center of Tbilisi, and we are ready to sell uh, you know, to our to give it to the developers who can um, create either hotels or you know different uh, mixed use. Here, I would like also mention that the tourism is one of the fastest growing sector in Georgia. We have averaged 35 percent growth and uh, World Trade uh, Tourism uh, Organization has named Georgia as one of the highest growth in terms of international visitors over the past few years. So what that gives? This gives high occupancy at the hotels. We have average uh, 75 percent occupancy rate and average daily rate is uh, more than 200 US dollars, so which makes a very uh, profitable for the business. Uh, there are a few other projects that the government is uh, currently uh, working. Uh, one is uh, Hellness, uh, Hellness Spa Rehabilitation Center. Georgia uh, is very famous of having curative uh, uh, water, hot springs and mats with curative properties. And right now we are in the process of doing the feasibility and master planning of one of the um, of old and very brand name Skaltubo, which is in the center of the country and it uh, really gives a potential for investors to develop and become one of the uh, international destination in terms of the spa rehabilitation. The curative properties that the water has there can uh, cure many many diseases and it can really we can really stabilize on uh, uh, on that and make a very nice uh, destination during the Soviet Union there was a even direct train coming from Moscow to Skaldubo because of the importance and because of the uh, such a nice location. There are a few other uh, large-scale projects and I want to draw attention in terms of our mountain uh, develop, uh, resort development. Georgia, uh, it's a size approximately um, uh, size of the uh, Austria up to 70,000 uh, square uh, kilometers, but 70% uh, up to 80% uh, it consists of the mountainous region. So um, developing a mountain resort is a top priority for the government and government itself is investing a lot in terms of the infrastructure development. We are placing ski lifts, roads, um, um, uh, snow making facilities and uh, there are four resorts that are under development and four of the resorts we would like to make as an international destination uh, not only for skiing but for all season mountain uh, destination. So there are a number of opportunities in terms of real estate development, in terms of the um, um, tourism related infrastructure development and of course uh, a lot of work also for the international real estate companies to do the feasibility study master planning and different types of projects. So this is a big project and coming up project that the government is concentrating next to five to ten years and there will be a lot of opportunities in, in this area. And last but not least, of course, our seaside uh, region, uh, Batumi. Uh, Batumi is exactly where you can see the um, government's attitude. Uh, while Batumi used to be a small townlet on the Black Sea coast, right now it's becoming a rapid developing economic active uh, city and the surrounding area. So we have a 50 kilometer coastline on the Rajara region that can be easily developed as a very nice uh, place for uh, uh, all type of uh, summer activities. Uh, there is also opportunity for gaming industry and um, uh, gaming is becoming also very popular and because three hours away from Georgia by flight 
like gaming industry is forbidden. So that really makes our uh, destination in terms of four season, while even in summer resorts, um, a lot of tourists are coming because of this uh, reason. And the government has identified up to 300 hectares of land uh, close to Batumi, uh, close to the international airport, uh, where we can develop a mixed use uh, indoor, outdoor, um, uh, um, uh, real estate, um, uh, including hotels, residentials, um, uh, entertainment, and so on. So there are a few very large scale projects that we would like to invite um, investors and potential developers to consider Georgia as one of the uh, priorities and uh, one of the next place to be in, uh, in the country. We have seen a number of brands already uh, coming to Georgia. We see most of the brands now uh, in Georgia, but as I have mentioned, there is quite big demand um, and uh, still supply in terms of the hotel rooms is uh, not, uh, uh, it's not, uh, how to say, it's uh, still um, not um, uh, untapped, yes. Um, just for the information, I have to mention that the Georgia is hosting a um, uh, few large-scale in, uh, events. Uh, one of them is uh, um, Youth Olympics that will take place in Tbilisi this year. Uh, I have to also mention the BRD annual meeting where uh, around 2,000 businessmen and companies will arrive to Georgia. Um, I have to mention also that Georgia is becoming, and Tbilisi is becoming a platform for international conferences like Silk Road, where uh, countries uh, will participate and discuss uh, the opportunities in terms of the trade and logistics and uh, transport uh, in Georgia and the UEFA uh, Cup, World Cup, so which takes place in Georgia. So uh, it's uh, the, it's becoming, uh, the attention is getting to, to Georgia. So there is now, uh, can be uh, more um, uh, in investors and businesses can be interested in coming into Georgia. How does the geopolitical difficulties in the region affect your efforts to attract investment? Of course, um, uh, of course, it affects to Georgia, um, and especially for the farther countries who um, um, who uh, don't feel and who don't know Georgia and the, the region. Good, of course, for them, um, maybe it's an additional how to say um, um, does not simulate to come to over to Georgia. Uh, despite, I have to mention there are a number of big international companies who have chosen to come into the Georgia uh, in this period of time. Here, I would like to mention the international uh, gaming. Uh, company, uh, Melco, which successfully operates in Macau as well in Las Vegas. They have just recently chosen Georgia to come in and are uh, doing the investment. And there are a number of other uh, large investment uh, groups like Dabi Group, um, um, UA Investments is quite active in Georgia, um, United, um, there are international financial institutions who are, um, um, how to say, who are in investing in our country. And uh, Georgia was one of the also fewest countries whose, uh, whose international credit uh, ranking rank has improved uh, in 2014. So from uh, stable, we have uh, improved up to positive, which means that uh, by international uh, um, um, community and financial and strategic um, companies, Georgia is considered to be a reliable country and a stable country, which uh, still uh, helps us to bring more investments into the country and still we see more companies coming to the country. Thank you. We wish you luck. Thank you very much.